Come on, Denise. Core's a bit grim, no? Doesn't matter. Who are you? Vincent Valentine. I'm. Security. Uh. <laughs> Why are you here? Be brief. Your terminal. Mm hmm. Card. The authorization at least. Oh, great. <laughs> Though you're clearly not Murasaki. Explain yourself. Ah, uh, it's a bit of a long story, and we'd love to tell you all about it, but there's something we really need to look up first. Can't go letting a foe win the information war, eh? Your foe? And who might that be? A man who many people, myself included, once called a hero. Sephiroth. He's insane, and he's after something so powerful, he could destroy the planet unless we stop him. I see. Sin to atone for. The room is unlocked. Use it as you see fit, Mr. Murasaki. Don't mind if we do, I guess. giving you permission to go in there. Oh, it was an honest mistake. We didn't mean any... Ah! <sighs> Don't hurt me! Please! I can explain! Drop it. Why should I? He's trespassing, like you. Save it. I've had a pretty shit day. What a coincidence. So have I.
I know your story. Vincent Valentine, former Turk. Stumbled on your file in the company database. There's a reason you're alone in the dark down here. And that reason has something to do with Sephiroth. Am I right? That's none of your business. I only ask because you might want to come with us. I don't know whether Sephiroth is dead or alive or something in between. But I do know that if I stick with this lot, I'll find out one way or another. Is this how you want your story to end? <sighs> About your mother. Her name's Afalna, right? Maybe. So what? That sounds like a yes to me. I called it the second I saw you. Boy, am I ever glad I sent up smoke. Tell me, how's she doing? Good? No. She's dead. <clears throat> You know, the whole reason I joined Shinra was to become a pilot. But I wound up as a gopher for some lazy grease monkeys. Had me running around HQ fixing lights and whatnot. One time, though, I came across a pretty young thing with a little girl in her arms. That was you, wasn't it? Probably. <laughs> you were knee-high to a tonberry. I was what? Oh, it's a smogger, I'd wager. <laughs> Damn. No longer with us. That's a crying shame. Truly. Hey, Missy. It's Aerith. Aerith. Is there anything I can do for you? I want to help. What? Why? I uh, just trying to do right by you. <laughs> Flying us around will be more than plenty. Thanks. Then again, if you're just dying to hell, you could take us to the salsa for free. Free? It's fine, we'll pay. Now it's on me. When you want to head to the saucer, just give me a holler. Hey, good to go? Let's get a move on then. <laughs> Huh. An eight? 
You said that Sephiroth is your foe. I have a history with him. Unfinished business. Hmm? He bothering you? Want me to give him the boot? Try to screw us over, and you're a dead man. Please, take a seat. Do you think you can manage eight? Ain't gonna lie. That's a tall order for most pilots. <sighs> Lucky for you, I ain't most pilots. Swim away from! <laughs> you almost killed us! Okay, let's start her up. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, but the wings are still broken. And? What of it? Only one man has mastered the land, air, and sea. You're looking at it. You got that? Okay, so? So, you can think of me as the captain of your ship. Strap on in and we'll punch through the chop. Aye, aye. <laughs> Let's set sail. Straight through the ravine and on to Costa del Sol. And after that, we hit it. Sounds like a plan. We'll be there before you know it. Let's set a course for Costa del Sol, sir. Roger that! Full speed ahead! Hey, you mind filling us in on the Keystone before we arrive? Well, about 20 years back, one of my more eccentric colleagues convinced the company to build a museum for his antiques. The Reliquary, they called them. Pretty cool, eh? Now, according to company records, the Keystone was housed there. Wait a second! You said it was at the Gold Saucer. Aye, I'm getting to that. But if there, it wasn't. Oh, right. So, the museum turned out to be a total flaw. Closed as soon as it opened. But, somewhere between cutting the ribbon and boarding up the windows, the keystone vanished at the thin air. So it's not at the saucer? Do you know where it went? No, but I know a man who meant The former Fury. Deal. Hmm? How do you know that name? Let's just say... After the museum debacle, all deal was devoted only to be promoted again when the saucer took off. Made director in no time. A real riches to rags to riches story. All of which is why we're bound for the saucer. Hey, see, did I hear right? You used to work for Shinra? Still do, on occasion. The boys got their uses. That's going to be a problem. You see, we don't take kind friends and company. And 
I don't take kindly to that tone of yours. The man who tries to lord his power over me is gonna wish he didn't. That's what's appealing about the skies. Got them all to myself. Rats can have their race in the gutter. Never much cared for the squeaking anyways. <laughs> I miss the wild blue yonder dearly. I hope Johnny's all built up by now. And that his hotel is found in the right. Bad chance. Kid probably got grifted again and is crying himself to sleep every night. Thank you for choosing Bronco Cruises. We sincerely hope you enjoyed your trip with us. Cruises? I thought it was Bronco Airlines. Not after his wings got clipped. <laughs> Seriously, we really appreciate you ferrying us around. You're most welcome. Hey, y'all are headed to the saucer, ain't you? I might could tag along, take in the splendor. What do you think? Of course. Girl always knows just what to say, am I right? Shall we? <laughs> Wait a sec. Where's Vincent? Up there. Another loner. As if one wasn't enough of a pain in my ass. Yeah, one's more than enough. <laughs> you mean me? <laughs> <laughs> Need something. <laughs> of course. Should have known I wasn't the only one seeing ghosts. Shame, though. Some stories are better forgotten, including the Queen's. Know about the Witch's card? I heard you might have it. The Emerald Witch? As luck would have it, the card does happen to be in my possession. But it could be yours, should you prove yourself worthy. It seems a transfer of ownership was in the cards after all. Be warned, that which appears a mere pastime is shrouded in darkness. I suggest you proceed with caution, lest it consume you too. The situation is graver than I feared. Here, she'll guide you to the Queen. The rest is in your hands. Oh, Cloud. It's you. Didn't think you'd come. You mind? We prefer to have this conversation in private. There it is. The source of everything. All I ever wanted was to be worth something. Queen's blood gave me that. Got people to respect me. Fear me. Until... I started fearing for myself. For what I might become. Because I can't keep winning forever, and once I start losing, I'll be worthless. Worse, a nobody. When I found her, I knew that I would never lose again. That I'd been chosen for something greater. That I was blessed. But this... This isn't that at all. Speaking to me, telling me to give myself to her power, to dominate. I've tried not to for so long, but I, I can't. Regina? Ah, uh, yes. 
I remember well this land, for it was once mine. Until that witch rallied the unwashed and put me to the sword. Well, little puppet, what do you say? A match against your queen. For you, human, have a blood debt to pay in full. Possible. What foul sorcery! Uh, a cursed witch! Even in death, you would thwart me! Good? What about... She's gone. Oh, she is, is she? <laughs> Be still, little puppet. You belong to me now. <laughs> Cloud. Use the card. Don't you dare! Game over. Thank you, Cloud, for stopping her, for stopping me. Guess I really let all that genius crap go to my head, huh? After a while, losing became my worst nightmare. I'd do anything to win, and look where it got me. You are not to blame for this. Evil like that preys on our deepest, darkest fears and worms its way into our hearts. If you ever break free... You're the best because you worked your ass off, not because you're a genius. Got it? <sighs> Got it. <sighs> well, on that note, I'd better get back to it. After all, there can only be one card queen. <laughs> so next time you want to throw down, you best come prepared. Right. <laughs> Later! All's well that ends well, I suppose. Thanks to you. <laughs> Couldn't have you dying on me just yet. For us to overstay our welcome. What are you doing? Be quiet. Listen. Uh, you hear something I don't? I feel it below us. Well, I don't feel anything. But you know this place better than we do. If you're willing to lead, we'll follow. What do you mean, we? <laughs> Scared. Me? Scared? <laughs> I ain't been scared a day in my life. I was even voted bravest buddy back in the day. Of course you were. Man, this is ridiculous. 
That guy was convinced there's some kind of ghost in here, but I'm not buying it. I say we just turn around. Getting cold feet? Of course not. Besides, it wouldn't be our first paranormal encounter, like the game. They were ghosts, I think. to blame in part for the evils he's unleashed. I've had many opportunities to purge him from this world. Unfortunately, I couldn't pull the trigger. Don't beat yourself up. Oh? I don't know if you can kill him. And even if you could, I think he'd stick with you. Somehow. <laughs> Quite the rosy outlook. Wait. You're going to need my key card. It'll grant you access to the lower levels. up ahead. Can't proceed further until we complete the trial. Best of luck. Greetings and welcome, my lovely specimens. This asshole again? Today is your lucky day. You'll be participating in a series of combat simulations. Few are permitted to take part in mine. Be grateful for this honor. Well, without further ado, let us begin. I look forward to analyzing the data gleaned from your deaths. Messy as they'll be. Masterpieces yet again, I see. Without further ado, my dear specimens, let's proceed to Act Two. Some gal used to work here, but what exactly did she do? Whatever the good professor bade her. As their bodyguard, I was never made privy to the details of their research. Well, knowing that sick freak, I doubt he was up to anything good. And I bet that gal wasn't much better than him either. That's not true. Oof. Did I touch a nerve? Just stay quiet. I have to concentrate. No, keep down. I 
I knew you'd make it this far. Of course, not every participant does. Only the finest, the elite among you, survive. You should be very proud. I, for one, am delighted by your success. Where are you off to? To shut him up. As a token of my appreciation, I've prepared for you a gift. That's what we've all been hearing? You gotta be kidding me! Here it is, your final trial. You must face this fiend in combat and emerge triumphant or die. It's on you. You're in good hands now! I got this. Go on. Guess this means we busted our ghost. The monster. Tainted by Hojo's touch, no doubt. Why the singing, though? An outlet for stress, perhaps. An expression of displeasure. Despite their appearance, some fiends are capable of complex thinking and experiencing emotions. <laughs> right. Monsters got feelings. <laughs> I know we ought to have mercy for all life, but you gotta draw the line somewhere. In any case, thanks for your help with the investigation. Don't stay too long. Dio's not here. Excellent design. Very cozy. If we are to stay the night, I call the coffin. Dio's not here. Oops! Did we wake you? Something on fire? Nope! Just happened to stumble across some tickets to Loveless. And thought I'd share my good fortune with you. Because I'm ex Shinra? <laughs> no, I wanted to invite everyone, but they'd already gone off on their own. Save for these two. <laughs> Ain't nothing weird about watching a play with the guys. Come on, we'll make a night of it. All ticket holders, please make your way to the theater. Are you here to see Loveless? Members will also be in <laughs> Attention, Event Square guests. Could make them bloom. That's make them bloom. Please speak to a member of the staff at your earliest convenience. Thank you. Attention, Event Square guests. Could make them bloom. That's make them bloom. Please speak to a member of the staff at your earliest convenience. Thank you. Attention, Event Square guests. Could make them bloom. That's make them bloom. Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to sing it? Me? something. Better keep an eye on that actress. She's going places. <laughs> Don't believe me? You'll see. <laughs>
that was a fun way to kill some time. But, uh, anybody know why Aerith was singing? Attention! The Sky Wheel will be closing soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. What do you say, lads? Feel like going up, up, and away? Hell yeah! Ain't my usual ride, but you'll do. Y'all leave the flying to me. Eh, doesn't it work like that? <sighs> Will we just sit here and spin? Ugh. Could at least throw in a joystick. That seems joysticky. Oh. <laughs> Some dumb kids toy. Come on. At least we can enjoy the scenery. Just look. You've got a space battle unfolding right before your very eyes. Tell me that doesn't send a chill down your spine. Hard to port! Whoa! Made it by the skin of our teeth! sometimes ask me to predict who will win a race. Ah, come off it, I tell them. If I could do that, I wouldn't they still be working here now, would I? Hmm? Huh? 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 Whoa! Whoa! Talk about a breathtaking spectacle! Seriously, are you lads seeing this? You wee scunners! Barbarians! I provide entertainment in spades and all I get is crickets! Can we go any faster? This is torture! And how do you think I feel? Kate, zip it. Why are you taking his side? I'm the one trying to make this fun! <sighs> open the doors! Let me open this thing! Well, I'll be in the stands rooting for you tomorrow. Knock him dead. Huh. There you are. I need that radio. Thing's practically an antique. Even better. Got them. They're headed for the northern continent. North, huh? Tricky. Can you get there? Can I get there? Only with one arm tied behind my back. Girl might be missing her wings, but long as you got me, it'll be smooth sailing. Oh, man. This is gonna be rough. What can I say? Life is full of ups and downs. <laughs> They've mobilized the Turks in the military. Hope you're ready for a fight. There's so much... so much tension. Waves did a number on the old gal. Gonna give her a once-over. You go on ahead. Sure about that? I'm a big boy. <laughs> Fiends killed these men. 
This is one hell of a mess. Yeah, but they didn't have Aerith. We get a free pass, right? But half of me is Cetra, right? I tried, but no free pass for us. Now, I know I came with you all this far, but I ain't about to go in there. Sorry, folks. No, don't apologize. You've done so much for us already. We'll always be grateful, Sid. Wait, don't misunderstand. You'll need a way home. So when you're ready, I'll be here. Death doesn't suit a Turk. The Grand Metropolis, where the ancients once gathered to pray, thought lost to time. Until today. Aerith. Aerith, wake up.
stay here forever. We'd best get moving. Yep. Sounds good. Is it just a wee bit higher? Screw you, cat. How's this? No shit. Nice catch. So, what Aerith actually do anyway? for takeoff. <laughs> Finally. It's not fair. Yeah, one sec. You have to promise not to look up. Don't look up. Well, now I gotta look. Fine, but don't let it get to you. Don't let what get to me? It's not real. Just an illusion. Now let's go get Sephiroth. He's hiding up north. North? Trust me, he is. Soldier's intuition. Oh, yeah? Better hope you're right. <laughs> trust you. Just remember, we got everything riding on this. And that's a load you'd best be ready to carry. No heavy loads. We're close to capacity as it is. Don't worry about me. I can handle it.
You gonna be okay getting back? And if I said I wasn't? <laughs> Don't worry. It's like a second home. I guess. But what if... What if something happens? Then I'll send up smoke. Thanks. I'll keep an eye out. I'll put everything I've got into my prayers. I'll stop the meteor. And I'll leave the rest to you. Good luck. Aerith. I will stop Sephiroth. Trust me. You promise? Promise. Until I met you.